Connecticut and welcome back to the beautiful Pacific Northwest. Today we are going to be filming on a Moody DS54. They were originally owned and built and designed in Great Britain for over 200 years. Now they are designed by Dixon Yacht and they are owned by Hanse, which is a German company. Let's go inside and check it out. So the first unique thing that we're going to check out on this Moody is the helm stations. First of all, there are two. And with that, there are two full control panels. You have your GPS, your throttles, all of your hydraulics right here at your fingertips on each wheel, which is pretty unique. And also, all the lines come right back to you. So not only can you sail this boat by yourself or with a few other of your friends, it is very easy and very smooth to control. So first of all, in this beautiful outdoor dining area in the cockpit, one of the unique things about it is this table does open up so you are able to have a very large table. But not only that, you are able to lower this all the way down and then you have this foam that you can put down on top of it so that you have a beautiful day bed like a little sun tanning bed or if you wanted to sleep underneath the stars it just really opens all of that up for you so here we are outside in the beautiful patio so one of the cool things about this boat is the deck salon so that means you are able to just walk straight from here inside into your living room and kitchen area you're not trying to go down any stairs trying to hold on to any railings anything like that come with me first thing you notice is how beautiful and wide open everything is you got your 360 views you have plenty of headspace above you you have your sink, you have your fridge, you have your stove, you even have a microwave and a freezer. And then you continue on forward, you have a very comfortable, very large dining area. You can even flip these down too if you wanted. And then you have a nav station. You are able to navigate from down here on autopilot if you would like. And another pretty unique thing is when you're ready for some entertainment, you have a beautiful little TV that pops up right here. Let's go forward and check out the beds. So there are four beds total on this boat. So there are three in front and one in back, which we'll check that one out afterwards. So there are two folds on either side, as well as a bathroom right here too. And then we're gonna come forward and check out that queen berth. Make sure that you do notice the beautiful skylight above you. We have plenty of storage on either side, as well as the TV. And then you have a very nice bathroom. And now let's go check out that back bedroom. So here we are at that back extra bedroom, down the little stairway as you saw. So there are two twins on this side, as well as a bathroom with a full washer and dryer. Come on down. Welcome to the bow. So up here there are two curling jibs as well as your anchor up here. And then you have your storage up front and you can check out where that beautiful skylight was above that queen. So here I am with the owners of this beautiful Moody DS54. So what are your guys' favorite features about this boat and how often do you guys take it out? Well, well ladies first, off you go. Well, we really like to take it out with friends and have nice dinners and uh, we often go over to Bainbridge Island and have just a night there, just the two of us, like a date night over there. Uh, and then we often go up to San Juan Islands, which we really love in the summer and we usually invite friends to come for a week or two on the boat with us and that's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and for me, we can do that and sail at the same time. So uh, I've taken this boat up to the San Juan's on my own. Um, as you see, it's very automated. Uh, you know, the furling and the carbon winches make it very easy to sail single handed. So I've done that. Uh, we've taken a boys' trip up to Desolation Sand, which was interesting to say the least. And uh, it's just a good boat to enjoy. It sails reasonably well. Uh, we have, uh, you know, the self furling uh, Genoa jib and sail. But we also now have two flying sails. We've got a reaching spinnaker. Uh, uh, down and runner. Yeah, so there's lots to do to keep you busy and uh, it's fun to sail but it's also fun to so it's also comfortable I like I like our, the bedroom here it's nice and comfortable I always that was one of our things about getting a sailing boat I just didn't want to have that claustrophobic feeling of you know being in that D cabin that can with your you know, ceiling close to your head mm -hmm. at least that's nice and open and comfortable 
And have you noticed it's easy to take out by yourself? Yeah, the, the only issue with this size of boat is just uh, maneuvering in, at slow speeds and tight. Like, so if the wind is over 15 knots, it becomes lots of fun to get it into this berth, uh, yeah. especially in here. So we sometimes have had to tire at the fuel, fuel dock and uh, they allow us to do that. We, we leave it and then bring it in when the wind, when the wind dies down. So we have a bow thruster but no strength thruster, yeah. so that, you know, uh, thank God for the bow thruster, but we did have a whole season where it was broken. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly learned the boat handling and uh, that's easy. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, thank you so much again for allowing yeah. me to come out. Yeah, well, thanks for coming out. Yeah, thanks yeah. for looking around our boat. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Once again, in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. If there are any boats out here you want me to check out, make sure you like and comment below. Thanks.